Hey guys, it's Ellen and Ira. Hi, and today we're going to bring you around Soho, which stands for South of Houston here in Manhattan. It's a really nice historical district. There are a lot of really old cast iron buildings, some really interesting shops, and it's really chill over there. So we're just going to go explore. We don't really have a plan in mind, but we're just going to go walk around and see what we find. So let's go. Soho is pretty easy to get to using almost all of the subway lines across New York. Soho gets its name for being south of Houston Street. There's also Canal Street to the south, and then on the west, you have West Broadway or 6th Avenue, and Crosby Street or Lafayette Street on the east. Look, a Supreme store! In Soho, you'll find the Amazon brick and mortar store. This is where they sell some of their products that are rated 4 stars or above. In this neighborhood, you'll find a large Renaissance Revival style cast iron structure called the E.V. Howat Building. It was built in 1856 and Elisha Otis installed the world's first successful passenger elevator here. When you're walking around New York, try to take note of the street signs. When they're brown, that means that the street is part of a historical district. To find out if the facade is cast iron, just knock on it. Or bring a magnet. You'll also notice some buildings have shaftway warnings on the windows. This is because the windows look very similar in these buildings, so firefighters need to know which windows to avoid. Because if they enter through the shaftway, they will fall to the basement. A lot of the streets around Soho are still cobblestones and they're not paved over. It's a really nice walk, it's very quiet, especially nowadays. And you can admire the different architecture around, although they're all pretty much cast iron buildings. Soho is home to a lot of designer shops, but since rents are so high, they rarely make money. It's really more of a marketing tactic. Soho used to be an industrial area, so it was mostly factories before they all left. Then artists moved in because there were a lot of spacious lofts available for studio space. Nowadays, a lot of those huge apartments are the most expensive areas in the city. Building with cast iron meant that you could use more intricate designs, since you only had to pour iron into a mold. We had to make one last stop at this one particular building on Broom Street. It's a beautiful building, but unfortunately, it's where Heath Ledger died. He lived in a penthouse. Around Soho, you also find a lot of really cool street art. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get notifications whenever we post new videos. See you soon!